So we're going to take a look at a neat little feature that shows you uh, the basically the different dependencies of objects on the various tables. Because the tables are required, uh, once you have your table, you can create forms, reports, and queries. And those forms, reports, and queries are all dependent on those tables for data. So if you rename a table or you change a table, the object dependencies actually let you see what is affected by that change. So we're going to go into database tools and select object dependencies. Now it's going to show you the dependencies for whatever table you have selected. So if we want to see the, the dependencies for banquets, we need to select that. And this little pane over here for dependencies, you can resize. And if you click on the little arrows, you can see uh, tables that are related. Okay. Uh, and then you can see queries and reports as well. Okay, so these are objects that depend on me. So they depend on the banquet table itself. And if we click on this, objects that I depend on, we can see what banquet depends on. Okay, so you can kind of see how that works. Now if we go to employees, we can refresh this. And now we're looking at objects that depend on employees. And then we can kind of flip that around and look for objects that are dependent on employees that depend on that data. So this is objects that employees depends on. And this is objects that are dependent on employees. Now the cool thing about this is you can actually open these up. Okay, so if you wanted to see the design view of the table or the design view of the report, even though we're not working with report design yet, or design view of the query, it takes you right into those design views so you can take a look at them. And this is quite useful if you need to make a change to a table. Okay, and we'll take a look at one more. If we look at events, we're going to click on refresh. Objects that depend on events. Okay, and remember the, the banquet report comes from a query. And in the query, we actually have the events table. Okay. Now let's close this. Now let's take a look at objects that I depend on. Okay, so events is dependent on employees and banquets. Okay, and again, this will just help you if you need to make changes because it helps to know what all of the different relationships are. Now it doesn't really tell you to do this, but you can also select the query and hit refresh and it'll tell you what tables are used to generate that query. And for the order form, we'll hit re refresh. That should really only be the order table. I mean, the order table is connected to inventory, but basically all of the data is coming from order. And the banquet report, let's refresh that. and just kind of tells you the different things that it is dependent on. So this is just an alternative to going into relationships and seeing how the tables are related.